All right, since I like to make videos of pretty much everything, and uh, Rick was questioning about the uh, vehicle I'm using to tow the car to the track, I figured I'd make a video of what we're using. Wife and I picked this up this year. It's a 2000 Itasca Sun Cruiser 36U model, or 36U floor plan, um, whatever. Uh, it's the Ford chassis with the Triton V10. So far, we've used it a few times, pulled the car to the track a couple of times. It's done well. Um, haven't done a whole lot to it yet. Uh, I did put the rear bedroom window awnings on it. Um, pretty straightforward and easy to do. We are kind of getting hot in, in there. Put the sun blasting in, but yeah, I don't know. Two slide unit. <clears throat> um, pretty, pretty clean, I guess. I don't know. It's all we could really afford. Um, would have really liked to have had a diesel pusher, but that just wasn't in the, uh, in the finances, so. This is what we ended up with. It's got some blemishes. Um, that sucks. I'm gonna try to figure out how we can fix that. Um, it does have one little spot. I don't know if you can see it or not. Right here, starting to delam. Don't like that at all. I have to fix that. Just haven't really had time to do anything with it yet. I'm so busy with work and car and everything else, so. Um, kind of cool this one's got the basement air conditioner which is nice um, don't get any water dripping off the top top of the, the roof or whatever um, yeah I don't know <laughs> this is what we're using not ideal but it does the job take your time when you're pulling heavy um, you can you can do it that's for sure uh, you were also wondering about the trailer toad oh, I suppose I can go inside real quick whatever Nobody really cares, but like I said, it's nice with the two slides. It's roomy. Um, has the nicer, I think it's like a 30 inch or whatever flat screen, which is cool. It's nice that that was upgraded. Um, oh, I did get a, a tire miner system, which is kind of sweet. Um, basically, you can monitor tire pressure with it. It's kind of not going to zoom in, but tire pressure and temperature um, up to, I think it's 22 different tires. Right now I just have it set for this, uh, the coach, and um, I'm going to use it for the Toad too, which I'll get to. I know you're asking about the Toad. Um, yeah, it's just nice to have that, I guess, see fluctuations. Uh, it'll monitor, I think it's like every 30 pound increments, it'll let you know that, hey, something's going on, your, your pressure's going up or down, and I think it's like... 25 degree increments temperature wise, but figured it wasn't some bad insurance to have. Um, yeah, sorry, it's kind of dark in here. I don't know if this is going to turn out or not. Fire up some lights. It's roomy, it works. It's nicer than being in a tent, which uh, we've been in for way too long. <laughs> um, upgraded TV there, which is cool. I'd like to have a dish on this thing or a kingdom of some sort. That'd be the way to go. We get some channels. Um, we were out camping this weekend with it. It's kind of why I'm taking this video because I had it out and open. And uh, we got a, we got a bunch of local channels, which is cool. But it'd be nice to have that kingdom. Yeah, man. I don't know what else to say. This is it. Um, we looked for about two years, two and a half years, before we finally found something that wasn't all water damaged out and just a complete roach. So. We uh, stumbled on this guy, and people were uh, needed to get rid of it, so we're at the right place at the right time, I guess. All right, so trailer towed. Here we go. Two birds, one stone. So it's trailer towed. This is what it looks like up close. I also, like I said, I have the tire monitoring system on here too. I just didn't have it synced right now because when we were on the trip, it would beep at me. This thing's pretty, pretty cool. So far, I'm loving this. This is uh, saving everything on the coach right now. That back end, the frames are just not meant to tow stuff like this. As I'm sure you guys all know. Um, so I can pull pins right here, which will basically um, let it pivot. Right now I'm locked, because uh, when I just move it around by hand, it's so much easier to move it that way. But when I pull these these pins up and lock them in or lock them out, it pivots right up here. 
which is kind of neat. I can't really see it, but um, so then obviously it follows follows the the tow vehicle, and if you lock it in, you can back up. That's probably a rude and crude way of explaining that, but and then use your weight distribution hitch back here. Obviously, trailer hooks in, and you put your distribution bars to the trailer, which would be back there. All right, well, there we go. That's uh, that's all I got. Hope you enjoy it, and uh, hopefully it answers some of your questions. Yes, it can be done. You can definitely tow 26 footer. Um, weight wise, I was pretty close. I was right at that, right at that 26,000 mark. I scaled it the first time I used it. Um, it was close. So, yeah, maybe I can get under here real quick and show you that frame rail I was talking about. <laughs> Basically, you can see here, you have a factory frame, right? On these Class A coaches. Factory, 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 and then, oh, what's this little guy here? Yeah, that's your frame extension. And your receiver hitch bolted to it. Unbelievable. No freaking way. I mean, you put anything, any type of weight on this, and you're gonna, yeah. No thanks. I know a lot of guys reinforce them and you can do it, but I still just feel more comfortable having all that tongue weight on the toad. I don't know. I know a lot of people don't think that the toad's the way to go. Having just another, I guess, set of wheels on the ground, which, is, you know, nobody really ever wants to do, but I think it's working out well so far. But, alright. See ya.